I have a feeling I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Hey guys, Real Imaginary here, and welcome to my rendition of How Cruel Is Your Makeup Bag? I saw Tessa Vila do this, and she shouted out a smaller YouTuber named Lena that she saw do it, so I wanted to take part. I will have both of their links in the description if you want to watch them too. This is my makeup bag. This is the stuff I wear daily. I'm not going to do all of the makeup I own. I will do that in my own time because I have so much makeup that I've used over the years of different plays and different videos from my old channels. So I'm just going to do the stuff that I use every day. You might be wondering what I mean by how cool was my makeup bag. It just means is this makeup tested on animals? and also to see whether it's vegan. I'm personally not vegan. I don't think I could do it. I like meat too much, but I have nothing against other people who are vegan. I'm gonna do the same thing that the two of them did and use tape to mark the products that are not cruelty-free. That way I know that whenever they run out, I need to find something else instead of buying it again. And I don't want to throw my makeup away because <laughs> makeup ain't cheap, yo. That's kind of another reason why I'm afraid my stuff is not going to be cruelty-free because I get cheaper makeup. Poor AF. I will be using the website localharmony.net to see whether my stuff is cruelty free. It was created by Tanisha Combs, who is a vegan that's very passionate about reading, writing, cooking, and all things beauty related. She put together this list so anyone can go on and see whether their makeup products are vegan or even just cruelty free. I will have that link down there too in case you want to check it out for yourself. Without wasting any more time, let's see how cruel my makeup is. I am going to do this in the order of how I do my makeup in the mornings. So we're going to start with my primer. It is Maybelline New York Baby Skin. So let's see how Maybelline is. Oh, Maybelline, don't let me down. Brands to avoid. Shit, I really like that primer. <laughs> Here's what she has under brands to avoid. That way I don't have to explain it every freaking time. The following brands are not cruelty-free or vegan. This could mean they engage in testing themselves through a third party is required by law or use ingredients that are tested on animals. Brands will also be added to this list if they state that they do not verify or check their supplies or affiliates about animal testing. Please avoid purchasing these brands and support animal-friendly brands instead. If you know of a good primer that is cruelty-free, please let me know down in the comments. Actually, any of this makeup that I find that is not cruelty-free, please let me know a good alternative because I don't know what else to find. All right, baby skin, it's time for the tape of shame. That's very sad. That's very, very sad. The next thing I use is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Foundation in the tone Classic Ivy. So let's see how Neutrogena holds up to the test. Please give me something. Brands to avoid. Two for two with this spray, I'm going to have to replace all of my makeup. Fucking great. Fucking great. I already know what this is, and I'm really sad about it because I just got it, and I was really excited because it's made for normal to oily skin, and I have... I have oily skin, so I needed something a little bit better. Why am I talking like that? It is Maybelline New York Fit Me Face Powder. Why? Give me something! Come on! Ah! Next is my eyeshadow. It's CoverGirl Smoky Eyes. Please? I really like these colors. Ah! Are you freaking kidding me? It's in Brands of Avoid as well. Ah! I'm so extraordinarily pissed off right now. I wish I would have done this challenge. Calm down. Calm down. Next is my eyeliner. This is the best eyeliner I have ever found. <sighs> Please, Rimmel, don't let me down. Please. It's waterproof. It's smudge proof. It's freaking awesome. I'm very upset. I have not had one product not be cruelty free. What does that say for me as a human being? Don't even have to bother looking it up because my mascara is Rimmel as well. It's scandalized. It's freaking awesome. Why, world? Why? The sad thing is, whenever I buy these, I buy like four at a time. So I have all of these that I'm gonna have to get rid of before I buy something else. <laughs> Next, we have my eyebrow stuff. It's Ardell, A-R-D-E-L-L, -L, professional. Can I have something, please? I haven't even left the brands to avoid list. <laughs> I got something. <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. <sighs> okay. 
It is not 100% vegan, but it is cruelty-free, so that makes me feel so much better about myself. And the last thing I use on a day-to-day -day basis is my lipstick. It is Wet n Wild Dark Pink Frost. It's what I'm currently wearing, and it matches my face very well if I wear anything other than something like this. Wow, I just like wiped all of my powder on that. If I wear something that is darker than this, it looks terrible on me and I can't apply it right. So please, Wet n Wild, you're probably not going to work because it's 93 cents for a tube of lipstick, so... Let's see. It's cruelty free too! Yay! I got two things out of everything I use daily. Fuck. Well that was very disappointing and I am ashamed of myself for all of the things that I use on a day to day basis that are not cruelty free. I feel like I need to go like boil myself or something to take away the shame. Like I said before, if you guys have any suggestions of cruelty free or 100% vegan products that I could use instead of these ones, please let me know because I am at a loss now. I have no makeup now. And it's a shame because this stuff makes me look really freaking good. So I guess just leave me some links of your references of what I should use. Give this video a thumbs up if you are glad that I found out my things are not cruelty free and I'm going to make the change. Check out the other two videos that I mentioned before. Well, that's that's it for this shame-filled video. Subscribe, become one of my imaginary friends. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! You look like a man and you look like a dog. Well, guess what? Dogs are cute. <laughs> and I like men. <laughs>